So this is Cookie. She is a Hanoverian, and we had her back in 2017, uh, etc., to get her halter broke and gentle and trained enough to go through her warm blood inspection. And she's back here. She's pregnant, uh, and she's back here with us to get some more ground manners because you can see she's kind of um, she's kind of big. <laughs> etc. is about six foot tall with his boots on and. Um, you can see how little he look, looks next to her. She's huge. And she's kind of learned to um, push people around with her body. Uh, so she's back with us to kind of get some ground manners um, and to get uh, the all the bases done um, to be started under saddle. Uh, she's pregnant, so of course we're not going to actually ride her. Uh, but we can get all the groundwork stuff done. She's healthy. She's young. Um and she's far enough along in her pregnancy uh, that, it, that it wouldn't be dangerous or anything. So, so Sidero's here doing like, his normal stuff, testing her, she, what she remembers um, with his lead rope and then uh, with the burlap sack here, which of course is soft and it's not noisy. Uh, just kind of gauging, you know, where she's at mentally. Does any of this bother her? Objects don't seem to really bother her. Her main problem is, and why I kind of left a lot of this in this video, is that she, uh, see how she just kind of pushes him around? Uh, and that can be really dangerous with any horse, and especially when they're uh, as big as this one is. Um, so she gets nervous and she's whinnying and um, super, super distracted about everything going on around her and kind of just acts like the person doesn't even exist. And really, when you're working with horses, you need to be the most important thing of their focus while you're there. Otherwise, uh, you can get in a lot of trouble and they should be looking to you if they're unsure about something and look to you for guidance. Um, and right now, all she wants to do is kind of run him over um, and act like he, he's not even there. So uh, there's a couple parts to this video. This is the very beginning when he first starts working with her uh, and you can see how super distracted she is. He can't hold her attention for very long. Um, <clears throat> and she's not doing anything, you know, scary or explosive, but uh, that in itself is, is going to be a problem later on. Those are those horses that are completely out of control in different environments and things like that. Um, so you can see here, he's kind of letting her know, hey, you know, you need to pay attention that I'm here and not come into me and kind of got her attention there. And I mean, that's just a soft burlap sack doesn't hurt her. He's just using it. And you see how she kind of keeps stepping into him and he hasn't asked her to do that. Uh, that's a big deal. So um, he's keeping an eye on that. She took one little baby step there and he kind of let her get away with it. But that was good. See how he was like, oh, he checked back in with her or she checked back in with him rather. And uh, that was good. See, now she's super distracted again, just kind of starts walking all over him and walking off. And he didn't ask her to do anything. So he's kind of moving her around a little bit. Um, because he's going to end up leaving her alone when she's standing there and paying attention, and then he'll leave her alone. Um, so it's a little bit of a different approach than a horse that you say um, is really scared. Um, here, he's just trying to let her know that, hey, I exist and I'm here and you can't run over me. And you see, she's super, super distracted. Um, and. I don't know if you noticed, too, he's giving her just kind of a lot of time to, as long as she's standing there and not moving into him, he's going to just kind of leave her alone. And here he's just kind of testing her, um, giving her something else to look at or focus at. And she did, and she's starting to pay attention to him a little bit more. It's just, you know, made little baby steps. But you see he's not getting mad, he's not getting upset. He's just like, okay, if you stand there like that, we're going to just chill. As long as you're not moving into me and you're keeping my space, this is the happy place. See how he, he walked backward? He didn't ask her to come. And, and she came and she came way too much. See how she closed that gap between them so much? That was too much. She's not really in sync with him. And so he really backed her up off of that because that is not the answer. She needs to pay more attention to where his feet are and how away from, from his feet she is. So this is a different session. 
And you can see already what a different horse he already has after, I want to say it's probably session five or six with her. And she seems much more focused. This is actually a windy day too. And she's much more focused. Um, she's relaxed. She's really paying attention to him. And you see when he stops, she stops. That's huge. Um, and that's really what the, the owner of this horse is after. Uh, she was kind of um, bulldozing her over and being really, really pushy. Uh, and that's not good. I love how Cookie kind of looks around and, and it's like, oh, what's that on my back? <laughs> you see, you know, we don't we don't just train Mustangs. We do a lot of Mustangs, but we do a lot of other breeds too. Like I said, this one, this is a Hanoverian mare. And um, she's actually got a really cool personality. Um, when she's kind of settled down and um, stop being so distracted and realize that, oh, we're, we're asking her to do things and, and it's okay. <clears throat> so I kind of left this whole thing in here. This is him saddling her for the first time. And he's just doing both sides and checking with her to see how she's, how she's responding to it. And she's never been saddled. Um, and she did really, really good. And that's even stuff like that when little mistakes like that happen. It's like, okay, so what, big deal? Let's see, what does she, how does she react to that? And that kind of stir up, he pulled it off right before it flopped on her side. And then here he flops it on her side. And her responses to all of that are excellent. So this is telling you later on, you know, what she's gonna be like when she's ridden. And um, he's not being, he's not tiptoeing around her. You know, he's making lots of noise, he's patting on her. Um, and she's right there with him. You see what a difference from that first horse he had, whose head was up and everywhere and whinnying. And this one, she's like right there with him. She's got her ears on him. Her head is tilted toward him. She's not moving when she, you know, is not asked to move. Um, and she's she's very interactive and into this training session. Like her checking that out, like, what's that? That was adorable. Uh, and so this is what you want when you're working with your horse. You want that horse to be present with you and involved in what you're doing and it be an inter interactive training session, uh, not just a horse kind of standing there numb and dull and, and kind of dead. But, um, well, you know, we want to, we like a more interactive than that. <clears throat> and not, of course, not distracted either. And so he's tightening the cinch and we never tighten it really hard the first time you want it to stay put but it doesn't need to be crazy and her reaction is kind of funny um because she just realized that thing is around her and she was like oh oh what's that what is that and she she handled it really good she just kind of like she wasn't sure she could move and he's just making sure she doesn't come on him but you see even then the training worked really well from before uh, because she totally looked at him and, and knew exactly where he was and uh, didn't try to run him over. And that's great. That's going to be a great sign for later on um, in her training that she's going to be so aware and look to her rider, her handler, um, and be where, where they are all the time. And that's a huge improvement from where she was uh, when we picked her up because um, we brought her from Northern California. That's where her home is. And she's in training uh, in Arizona with us. And uh, we've trained quite a few of um, the her owner's horses. Uh, she breeds uh, horses, and she breeds some really, really nice horses. Um, we I don't really believe in breeding. We don't breed. Uh, but uh, the horses we've all gotten from um, her owner have been just absolutely incredible to train. See, she's doing great. She's um, doing her groundwork great. She's paying attention. She's listening. Uh, just after that first initial, you know, kind of surprise that there was something around her, um, she she handled it great. She didn't seem to uh, kind of get hung up on it. And so I think she's going to be a lot of fun when she's ready to be trained to be ridden. Uh, she's actually going to be a pretty cool horse. She already is a cool horse, but I mean, she's going to she's gonna be fun. She's got a great mind. So stay tuned, uh, we'll be posting more updates on Cookie and we'll be posting update on her friend Marissa that we also picked up for training, uh, who is an Arabian quarter horse cross. So I'll look for that video too. Thanks for watching.